Today on JD Cars, we're going to be tinting the windows on my E90 BMW. I'll be tinting all the side windows using 30% tint. First things first, we're gonna have to thoroughly clean inside and outside the window. Also, clean the surrounding area just in case the tint comes in contact with the car. Now we're gonna spray the window down. Just gonna open the door to make it a little easier. Now we're gonna grab the tint. Lay it across the door, grab our knife from it. I'm going to spray the tint down and we're just going to tack it down a little bit in the center here. And first things first, we're going to trim the bottom edge. Now we cut the left side first. Now to ensure there's enough excess on both sides to tuck into the seals of the window, we're going to shift the piece of tint to the left before trimming the right side. Now I can trim the right side. Now I can shift it back to center. Now to make sure that the tent seats into the bottom seal, we're going to shift it down slightly before making the top cut. Now again, wet down the window and tack it down. Now we're just going to roll the window down slightly and we can now cut the top edge. Now all the sides are trimmed, but we have to trim the corners. Now we're again going to spray this down really well and reapply the tint slightly away from the left edge and the bottom edge. Now we're going to squeegee it out with a hard card. And little creases are going to form in the tent towards the bottom. These are called fingers. You're going to want to push them downwards. So you really want to worry about the left hand edge, the top edge, and the right edge. Don't worry about the bottom edge, we're going to fix this with a heat gun. Now we're going to use the heat gun and the hard card at the same time to work these fingers out vertically, not horizontally. Once you've worked all the fingers out of the bottom here, you still want to go ahead with your heat gun just one more time and check again for any fingers. Applying heat can make them kind of stand out more and I'll help you find them and then you can work them out. Now you're gonna to wanna to grab one of these guys and spray down the seals of your window really well. I'm gonna come in here and wash them out. And you wanna wet down the entire window here and squeegee it down really well. Now we can peel off the outer liner of the tent. And if it's giving you a hard time, you can use two pieces of tape and that should help you peel off the liner. So as you're pulling this off, you wanna go ahead and spray down the tent here. And you only wanna peel it down about halfway. Now spray down the inside of the window really well, as well as your seals. I'm just gonna put the window down a little bit. Now we're gonna move the tent from the outside of the window to the inside of the window. So you first off wanna line it up with the top edge here. Try to get equal amounts of tint on either side. Wet this down, grab our squeegee, and tack the tint down. Now tuck each side of the tent into the seals by folding it. Once each side is in, you can go ahead and roll up the window and continue peeling off the release liner. Now to get the tint into the lower seal, you can use this tool in a motion like this to work it in there. And I found that works pretty well. Once you've got the tint into all the seals, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down again and squeegee it really well. It's looking pretty good so far here. You can come around to the outside edge here and you can actually come from the inside while looking from the outside. 
to get rid of any imperfections. Here's the difference, the front window is tinted, the rear is not yet. It's a pretty noticeable difference and I'm going to go ahead and do the rear window. I'm not going to show you that because it's the same exact process. However, I will show you the process of doing this part of the rear window as it's a little bit different. Alright, the front passenger side window and the rear passenger side window are done. Now it's time to do this little remaining window in the rear of the passenger side. Now luckily this is actually a much simpler process because this isn't a moving window so we don't have to worry about seals or any of that nonsense. So I've grabbed a little scrap piece here. Obviously first clean off the window and the surrounding surfaces. Spray it down and I've grabbed a little scrap piece to conserve tint. Now I'm going to line it up with this black strip inside the window here. And spray it and tack it down. Now pretty straightforward, just trim around the edges as necessary. Because this is such a small area and it's a pretty flat piece of glass, I don't see any visible fingers. Same thing as before, clean inside the window really well, then pull off the protective layer and apply the tint to the inside of the window. And there it is with the entire passenger side tinted. Okay, we are back folks and all the side windows are now complete. Back in August, I went through passenger side windows and I got to the rear window, at which point I became so frustrated with tinting that I couldn't continue and I just put the whole project off. I finally come back to it and finished up this side. I decided I'm gonna leave the rear window and the sun strip up to the professionals. But I feel accomplished and proud that I managed to get done the passenger and driver side side windows and I'm pretty happy with the job I did. Obviously in the garage under the shop lights right now you're not going to get the best view of the tent so I'm going to have to grab some more shots in daylight but here's an idea of what it looks like. Here's a more up close shot so you can see how it came out. As you can see no huge wrinkles or air bubbles and I'm really happy with how this came out. video on how to tint your car please leave a like below and subscribe if you've yet to do so thanks guys i'll see you next time on jd cars